Hello everyone, welcome back to my lifestyle channel. My name is Nijia and I'm here to teach you many ways of connecting inside and to be in tune with nature through various lifestyle methods, cooking, dancing, music. And tonight we are getting in touch with spirit um, doing a little uh, spirit cards and angel cards, however you want to call them. They're called postcards from spirit, from Colette Van Reed. I thought uh, on certain times we could all use a little guidance. So even though these are scary times for a lot of us, they're also beautiful times. And I want to remind everyone that we do have our guides. We all have our angels from the angelic realm, from the heavenly realm. And they're there to help us through through difficult times. We just have to um, tune into them and to allow their messages to reach us and to allow their help, to invite their help in. Um, these cards were a wonderful gift from one of my students, uh, one of my belly dance students. After my dad died, uh, she came to visit me and brought these cards to me and it was such a thoughtful gift. Uh, Postcards from Spirit by Colette Baron Reed. So as I'm shuffling these cards, oh, that one flew out. We have a couple messages. Usually when you shuffle and, we'll, and they fly out open like this, they're the messages that want to be heard. So. Dearest you, all your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms. Be grateful, praise things before they manifest and always ask for the highest good. When you plead and beg, that will only bring you only more reasons to plead and beg instead. Offer your prayers as sacred gifts, as a testament to your faith in a higher power. Open up and let spirit move through and comfort you. Add meditation as a way to become empty so you will be ready to be filled with inspired epiphanies, peace, understanding, and joy. In this moment, your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all life. Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you and your prayers will be answered in surprising ways. At this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority. All is well. Wow. We were just talking about our guides and these difficult times and asking for help. That couldn't have been a better answer. This card also flew out and was meant to be read for everyone tonight. We know everything in the universe is perfect, even in its flaws, and we view the creations of spirit in total awe. All is unique, yet part of a unity of existence. But the human experience is a little different from ours. You tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal. And this isn't serving you right now. So forget your idea of perfection and see through our eyes, allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something. Instead, enter life 
with all its flossomeness, F-L-A-W-S-O-M-E-N-E-S-S, enter life with all its flossomeness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be who they are too, imperfect and human, complex or simple. It doesn't matter, for there is always something to discover, experience and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you're, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable. Loving you like crazy. Wow, these are incredible messages that are so right on for these times. I'm in Philadelphia area and I'm being quarantined. You know, we can't go out unless uh, we get groceries or gas <laughs> or to the doctors. And um, it's hard being isolated, but it does bring you within your, with inside yourself. And it does bring out your creativity. And what is so beautiful about what is going on right now with the virus is that um, we are all in this together. There's been so much division and we forget that we are all one. We are all one human race and we're all seeking answers and we all, as different as we are, we all want the same things. We want to sit down at night to dinner with our families and be with the people we love and hug them. We all want the same things. We all want a roof over our head. We all want the same things. Sometimes we forget that. So as hard as it this is, um, there is a lot of beauty. There's been a lot of harm to the earth and now the earth is healing itself. Dolphins are returning to the canals of Venice, the swans and the fish. The water is sparkling and turning blue. It's been murky for decades and smelled for decades. It's becoming fresh. Ocean water pouring into those canals. People are playing music in the streets to cheer up the elderly and uh, doing dances in the streets, socially distant, of course to say happy birthday to their friends, holding up signs. The police are making music in the streets of Spain to help the hearts of those who have to stay in, to give them some humor, and to lighten their hearts, to bring joy back. I think when um, when this kind of virus comes through, a virus, when you get viruses, they say that every illness is related to, uh, you know, in the body. It tells you something about your soul, what it needs. And I think with the way our lives have been, um, if you read energetically the body, a virus is a lack of joy. And people have been just working so hard and pushing so hard and are too busy, just too busy. And the joy has has gone away we're just surviving and it's been a hard time a lot of division so people are finding creative ways to bring joy into their lives they're planting gardens i have i have salad growing on my radiator because <laughs> i'm i can't go to the store to get fresh things you know and i'm trying to stay in as long as i can and so I'm growing some stuff inside the house and then I'll be growing things outside the house soon. It's still cold here. <laughs> well, I hope that um, these messages, these beautiful messages from spirit bring you comfort. Remember, we have our guides. We have our unseen guides for everyone. And I read a long time ago that um, 
Most people have at least four angels per person to help them. It's a hard planet. <laughs> so we have our guides. We have to be in touch by being quiet, introspective, journaling, whatever it takes. Uh, just stop the hectic pace and get in tune with something. Get your hands in the dirt. <laughs> Get cooking in the kitchen, dance, move your energy, move, move with music, whatever it takes to tune in. And, um, you know, do more of that and see, and see where it leads you. So if you like this channel, please subscribe. There's a lot of things going on on this channel. A lot of vegan cooking. Recently I did some with my nephew little five-year-old nephew, and um, there's some dance further down, if you look down at some of the old ones, and there's DIY, there's, there's rituals to the moon, there's so much, so it's different every time. Uh, please share, please share via social media, and hit the like button, and let this go around. Let this uh, introspection go viral. <laughs> Let these ways of learning to be a living goddess and tuning in go viral. All right? And let the joy, let the joy spread from inside you. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. <laughs>